What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about Battlefield 6. There's been a lot of rumors kind of swirling around about the game. As of late, we know that uh, DICE and EA have come out and said this is going to be the biggest team they've ever had work on a Battlefield game. We still know DICE in Sweden's working on it, which usually does most of the Battlefield games, but also DICE LA and a few other companies they have that help do other things you know, within their games in the past. So it looks like it's going to be a very big team working on this. We found out a lot of info as of late, kind of, you know, some hints here and there about exactly what we can expect from the game. Um, the good thing is there should be a trailer coming out very, very soon. Uh, we've, they've been hinting at this, uh, and you know, there's been a lot of other things that have kind of been hinting towards, uh, a, a release date and a trailer. Probably Tom Henderson, who does a lot of leaks for a lot of different games has uh, actually found some data mine files that show images. Uh, of the game itself. I will link those down in the description. I'm not going to put them in the video for copyright reasons, as you guys know. So if you want to check those out, you can look in the description if you want to see these videos or the, you know, the screenshots from some of the videos that have been found out there. Some of these may have been taken down. So if they're not there anymore, if they've been, you know, removed, you kind of can understand why, you know, most of these companies don't want anything leaking very early, but the game does look like it's set in, you know, modern times or even in the future, because there's things like drones, uh, that are placed in it. So a lot of people are speculating the game's going to take place after Battlefield 4. Uh, there's, like I said, some drone type things that makes it look a little bit futuristic, but maybe not too much. Also, uh, some other things that we know that are going to be coming to uh, Battlefield uh, 6 is what we're going to assume it's going to be called. It's going to be the Assault Engineer Support Recon classes uh, going to be coming back. No word if there's going to be any other classes just yet. Of course, squads are going to be coming back. But there is something new that they're talking about doing that has been discussed uh, in some leaks and things lately. And that is the ability to kind of get a group of squads together. So two or three squads can go together as a whole party and kind of be, instead of just being, you know, three or four of you together playing, you will have, you know, eight, 10, 12 people uh, kind of in that group together. So I think that's something that's very, very neat. I think that's something that should have been done a long time ago that you, a lot of times people may have more than four players they play with. So you end up being in different squads. You may end up being on different teams at times for balance and things. So hopefully this will allow people to play together with the larger groups of friends or larger groups of people that may meet online. Also, they've talked about being the most destruction they have ever had in any battlefield game, which is pretty impressive because one I think about, and I think most people always think about is bad company too. The destruction in that game was insane. You could actually level everything to the ground, which was neat looking, but at the same time, it kind of made the whole fighting scenario kind of odd too because there was really no cover whatsoever sometimes the maps would be completely leveled so i'm going to be curious to see if it's that kind of destruction or if they're just meaning the way you can see the see the debris and things like that because a dice has come out and said uh that with their new games uh you know, ea has stated this too that they're going to get the most they can out of the new gen hardware which makes me wonder if this game will be on old gen i'm assuming so even though they have stated that they want up to 128 players on a map at a time, I'm betting that's going to be only on new gen and PC. And if you're on an old gen console, probably going to be still running 64 players. So 32 on 32. But if you're on new gen, it's going to be 64 on 64. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But that has been out there for a while now saying that they want to have 128 players. That has been something that's been talked about in some of the leaks for several months now. And also, uh, rumors of a free battle royale coming. Uh, as we all know, the Battle Royale that was in Battlefield 5 could have been good if it would have been free. I think it should have been free for everyone, kind of like they have done Warzone now. I think it would have been a lot more popular. I think it would have got a lot more attention from DICE. But being something behind the game, uh, so you had to uh, paywall pretty much, uh, if you can think about it. If you don't want to play Battlefield 5, but you want to play the Battle Royale, you still had to own the game. So that didn't really work out like they wanted. So a free Battle Royale coming out. Um, the rumor on it's around 2022, so probably several months after the game is released. If we just take an example of most when, when most Battlefield games come out, it's usually in the fall. Call of Duty and Battlefield are usually right around the same time uh, from that September to November time frame. So I'm kind of looking if they do have a Battle Royale, which I assume they would because uh, Warzone has gotten so popular and had such a huge uh, crowd of, of fans that play it and still play it to this day. I think uh, DICE and EA will probably try to get in on uh you know that player base as well you know for the battlefield community and just for people that like to play battle royale games in general so i'm guessing that battle royale would probably come out sometime in the spring now this very large team they have working on it of course dice la is one of the uh, uh groups of people that is working on the game now as you all know dice la has done some things you know titanfall that kind of thing it's the same company um 
they also were some of the people that made some of the early Modern Warfare games. So things up to like Modern Warfare 2, this is a lot of the same people, the same uh, developers, the same leads, uh, design teams that worked on some of the older Modern Warfare games. So this looks like uh, a good group of people because a lot of people really enjoyed those games. The only thing is my dog barks in the background. I'm very sorry. She may continue to bark. <laughs> but uh, Snoopy, don't <laughs> bark. Um, anyway, uh, the... The whole thing behind it is a lot of people are really excited to hear that a Call of Duty team is making or working on this because they bring a lot of good things to the older COD games, some things that people really liked. But at the same time, a lot of people don't um, like the idea of maybe making it too much like COD, maybe too fast-paced. Some Battlefield players like the slower pace of the game. Uh, there's also been some rumors that they may bring some type of perks in, even though they've had some form or fashion of that over the last few titles. I'm curious to see if it's more of a Call of Duty style or they keep it with a kind of that Battlefield style of the system they're going to use, or maybe your your character can have some type of, of thump, something besides just a primary and a secondary. You can have some kind of perk system or something that kind of goes along with each uh, kind of uh, a character or each, you know, uh, whatever style you're running. If you're running a medic, or if you're running an engineer, you know, whatever the case may be. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you looking forward to Battlefield 6? There's a lot of people out there that think, you know, if Call of Duty is going to be another World War II game this year, that DICE and, and EA have a big chance to get a lot of that uh, Battlefield fan base back that went over to Warzone, kind of when Battlefield 5 died out, and a big chance to get back a lot of the older Battlefield players that haven't played in years. So kind of the same situation that Call of Duty had when Modern Warfare was released. A lot of the co old Call of Duty fans came back to play Modern Warfare. Will Battlefield 6 be something that brings a lot, a lot of the Battlefield fans back? I'm hoping it kind of has that old Battlefield nostalgia. Um, I've played all the BF games, and they were all really good, to, in my opinion, up to Battlefield 3. Battlefield 4 was just okay. Not my favorite. I know a lot of people out there like it, and that is perfectly fine. But if we can get that nostalgia, I'm going to say from the early on uh, Battlefield games to around Battlefield 3 or 4, we can kind of get that game uh, back. Uh, I think a lot of us will be happy, and it will do very, very well. Anyway, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you'd like to hit the like, uh, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.